Hi everyone, in today's video I'll give you some tips on how to make your hamster like you and want to spend time with you. It's a very simple thing to do, but in order for this to work, there are some conditions to fulfill first. Before you start taming your hamster, you need to make your hamster relax. This means giving them all the conditions for a happy life. First of all, they need a big cage. The minimum size I would recommend is at least 770 square inches or 5000 square centimeters. If your hamster feels like they are in a prison cell, they'll be stressed, so they won't like you and they might bite you. A big cage with plenty of toys, food and places to hide will make them feel like they are in an amusement park. Between a prison cell and an amusement park, which one would you choose? Another very important thing to do when you first get your hamster is to keep them in a quiet room at least for a few days. You can speak to them in a gentle voice of course, but don't play loud music or watch something loud on TV. When you get your hamster, they will be very stressed because they are in a new place with people they don't know. So it's best not to touch them or pick them up for at least 10 days. During this time, you can already start the taming process just without touching. Use these 10 days to get them used to your smell, as smell is very important to hamsters. Take some toilet paper or tissues and rub them all over your hands and arms to make them smell like you. Rip them into pieces and put them in your hamster's cage. Your hamster will take them to their nest and will be constantly exposed to your smell and they will recognize it when they later smell your hand. You can also use this time to get them used to your voice and presence around the cage. Talk to them in a gentle voice when they are out or read a book out loud. Or just sit next to the cage when you are on the phone. Of course, don't start talking to your hamster the second they show themselves. Give them a few seconds to relax first. If your hamster shows interest in you and starts following your voice, you can try giving them a treat through the bars if you have a barred cage. Or if you have a wire mesh lid, you can tie a mealworm with a hamster safe string and lower it from above a few inches away from your hamster. Do it slowly and freeze if they start looking nervous. Continue once they relax. When they get used to that, you can try throwing some food in 5 to 6 inches away from them while talking to them. Once they get used to it, you can start sprinkling their food around the cage for them to find, again while talking to them. You want to make them connect your voice with positive experiences. Once the 10 days have passed, you can start stage 2 of taming your hamster. Hamsters are solitary animals, so they don't have a need to connect with other beings. However, there is something they care about a lot, and that is food. You will need to use food to make your hamster want to spend time with you. So, how do you do that? First, take your hamster's seed mix and pick out some sunflower seeds and mealworms. Hamsters adore those. Then hold one seed with your thumb and index finger and slowly put your hand into the hamster's cage while talking gently as usual. This is better than putting the seed on the palm of your hand because this way you lower the chances of a bite. If you are still scared or if they have bitten you before, you can hold the seed between your knuckles. That part of your hand is mostly skin and bones so there's not much to bite into. Make sure that you don't put your hand too close to your hamster. Let them smell the seeds or mealworms and come to you. The most important thing in the beginning is to always let your hamster come to you. Don't corner them into a place they can't escape from and don't try to grab them. If they absolutely won't take the seed, then after a few minutes of trying, Put the seed slowly on the bedding and withdraw your hand. After your hamster takes the seed, try giving them another one with your fingers again. 
After they get used to taking the seed from you, try placing the seed into the palm of your hand. Make sure that your hands are clean and don't smell like food because your hamster might mistake your hand for a snack. Avoid soaps that smell like fruit, milk or honey. If your hands don't smell like anything edible, there is a much lower possibility that your hamster would bite you. In case your hamster does bite you, don't hit them or punish them in any way. Just withdraw your hand and treat the bite. Now, there is a difference between a nibble and a bite. Your hamster might nibble on your hand just to get to know you and check if you're edible. Once your hamster trusts you enough, they might climb into your hand and eat standing on your hand. Don't try to touch them with your other hand yet, use the thumb of the hand they are standing on and slowly touch them on the side to see how they react. The simplest way to introduce the other hand is to slowly bring a treat with it. When they get used to it, you can put treats on the palm of the other hand, bring it close and let your hamster move from one hand to the other. At this point, you are already doing really well, but you can do some additional things to interact more with your hamster. One is giving your hamsters pieces of toilet paper or tissues that they can take from your hand and use in their house to sleep on. Every time I clean my hamster's cage, I put some toilet paper or tissues inside, but never enough. I give them the rest by hand. That way they will know that that too comes from me. To spend more time with your hamster in your hands, you can give them some food they usually like to eat right away. Those would be some veggies, mealworms or fruits. Hamsters tend to eat those right away and not store them immediately in their pouches. Of course, give fruits in moderation and only occasionally because they are full of sugar. Another thing you can do is get a playpen or section off a part of your room, fill it with hideouts, food and toys and spend time in it with your hamster. Let them climb all over you and give them an occasional treat. You can also do this in a bathtub, just put a blanket on the bottom. If your hamster is too jumpy and it's not safe to take them to this area with your hands, Take a mug and put some treats in it. Put it in front of your hamster, let them climb into it and transport them safely. Always monitor your hamster's behavior. Don't keep your hamster too long in the playpen. If they start looking stressed, put them back in their cage. You also need to be patient. Some hamsters will jump into your hands right away, but some will take months to tame. Don't pressure your hamster too much and interact with them only when they are awake. Don't wake up your hamster unless there is an emergency. You don't want to tame a sleepy and grumpy hamster. One thing I really don't recommend doing is using hamster balls to spend time with your hamster. They are very stressful, they have poor ventilation and hamsters often injure their feet in the ventilation holes. This is more or less all about how to tame a hamster. Good luck and let me know how it goes.